we have another one. Another one of the cheapest PVMs you're going to find on eBay. And we're about to unbox it, but I'm not as confident in the packing job here. So let's just see what happens. All right, guys, welcome back today. Again, I've got an unboxing, and this is one of these things I just continue to do to myself uh, is just to see how good people actually, when they sell you an eBay, what kind of good deal can you get, what the condition of their packing is, and it's always something different. And I think that I've kind of shown you that in the last couple unboxings. So we had a really good job packing on the last two 8-inch PVMs we bought. But this one, this one is not packed uh, particularly you know, wonderfully, where I would consider it you know, a good packing job. But just based on this outside box, let's go look at it a little closer. I'll give you uh, some details on why I think that. Now, first off, uh, if you're hoping for a Brutus sighting, Brutus is going to be staying inside today because it is extremely hot here in Tennessee. I mean, today, the ambient temperature right now is right at, uh, it feels like it's 105 degrees, but it's mid-90s. 70% humidity, so it is a torture chamber out here in my shop with uh, very poor, you know, temperature controls, which means nothing. No, no temperature controls. Anyway, let's get back to our box. This is the box. Now, it's a Samsung box that was from a laser printer, a monochrome laser printer. So the size in the box is almost a 24 inch cube, but it's a used box and it's got gashes in it. It's not held up particularly well. Look at that. And, uh, you know, here's another big gash inside of it. And I can feel, ugh, I can feel the bezel right there. That's the bezel. Like, I'm touching it with my fingers. Look at that. Right there. So, right when I saw the guy from FedEx dropping this off from the truck, I was concerned. I went out there and helped him. And, um... The sad thing is, is you can buy a nice 24 inch cube electronics box that is double walled, brand new for under $8 US here in uh, a, a store called U-Haul, which is where I got all these other boxes. Yeah, they sell these nice moving boxes and shipping boxes for only $8 about. And uh, that would have done a world of difference for this one. The reason I really <laughs> do this is because I know that I can handle, uh, if I have to go through a claim with eBay, I've done it before and I'll do it again if I need to. That's kind of why I took the risk here. I knew that it wouldn't bother me. I didn't want somebody else to have to deal with that risk really. And uh, I figured that the way these were priced, that basically they were underpriced and I was concerned. I just let the guy ship it the way he did. He shipped them quickly. They did get here really fast. It only took about three days since I bought it. And the price I paid for this was 200 US dollars plus shipping. And what we've got here is um, a 20 inch monitor. So that's an insane deal. And it's, it's an Olympus OEV 202, which is the equivalent or clone of the Sony PVM 1953MD, which is one of my favorite medical monitors. I was really glad to see it. It did have a picture of the screen tested as far as powered up and working like, you know, the normal screen for uh, the service menus was pulled up. And man, I tell you, if this made it, we are really lucky. Look at this. So like I would never be able to sleep at night if I packed a 20 inch CRT like this, but <laughs> that's just me. So we've got uh, like one nice tiny layer of bubbles a little bigger layer of bubble and let's just see what happened all right so let's zoom in down here i noticed literally no packing i mean who who does that seriously oh um Seems like the tube's still in spot. Now what has happened is we've got, obviously these handlebars are bent. Now thankfully on this version there's metal so they won't break as easily. If these would have been the plastic ones they would have shattered. So I can actually remove these and bend them back in place, straighten them up and get them cleaned up. The buttons are disgusting. It's not, whoop. <laughs> 
But yeah, let's, uh, it looks like we might have somehow had a miracle happen and might, might get lucky. So let's, let's go right now and get it on the test bench and see what happens when we fire it up. Okay, before I do that though, let's look at this box real quick. So there is that, oh, the power cable, how wonderful. <laughs> anyway, there's a, just the bottom, I guess, from the leftover styrofoam in the printer. So <laughs> this dude's luckier than he knows, I guess. But anyway, so that was jammed down in there. We got, you know, three, six feet of big bubble wrap and literally like what maybe another 15 so like less than 20 square or 20 feet of bubble wrap and that's it that's literally everything that was used to pack this right there the whole shebang so i, I really it's a miracle this didn't get destroyed at least it's a double wall box but what a joke um let's hope it turns on because it did say it turned on so there's still a chance something internally like a board was damaged. Uh, but yeah, that's it guys. Whoa. And that's why there's so many of these that end up destroyed is they get shipped in these kind of type of boxes that gives it less than a 50% chance to make it here. Let's go ahead and start testing it. The first thing I'm going to do is just simply power it on and we'll see what happens. I have not tried this at all. I literally just plugged it straight in. And we'll see, hopefully, goodness. We got power on. We got a picture. Ooh, we got that. Man. Okay. Let's now switch over to RGB and see what it looks like. All right. Um, I think I have a good sign here that this is actually in good shape. Um, we're going to load a game here and kind of see what happens. Wow. Yeah, not even any screen burn or anything. Let's see if the volume will work at all on here. Oh, yeah. Well, there you have it, folks. Look. Well, I mean, it was obviously this is a risk that, wow, paid off huge for me. And... Deals are still out there, but again, this could have, <laughs> you saw that packing? This could have been in a million pieces just as easily as it showed up like this. And this one doesn't even look like it needs much. Now I will go ahead and put a cap kit in it and uh, give it a full adjustment, cleanup, and rest restoration. But man, that's great. All right, there we have it. Another Sony PVM to get working on. I definitely will be bringing you more information on this Olympus OEV202 in the future. So look for that to come soon. In the meantime, I'm gonna try to cool off. Oof, man, I'm not joking, it is hot out here. I will see you guys next time with some more retro content.